Good day! This is a tutorial video on how to use your DragonPay generic biller which you can use to collect payments for the online purchases of your customers. To start off, go to the generic biller URL that we assigned to you which we sent through email upon approval of your account. You can see a raw sample on the screen. The URL is the link that you can send to your customers in order for them to proceed with their payment. What's great about this generic biller is that you can have it edited and pre-filled with the details that you can assign based on the items being purchased. You may then post this URL link on your online shop or website or send it directly to your customers. You may assign details on each field of your generic biller by editing the URL that we gave to you. Here are the character codes that you need to take note of. Use the end sign to add characters on a field. Use the equal sign after the field name to assign a detail. Use the plus sign to add a space between words. Use the percentage sign and the digits 4, 0 in order to add the at sign for email addresses. Let's start and try to add details on each field. To add an invoice number, place your cursor at the end of the URL and type the end sign INVOICENO followed by the equal sign, then type your assigned invoice number. In this case, I put 0001 as the invoice number. Press enter and you will see that the invoice number will now be reflected on the generic biller. Now let's try to add the name on your generic biller. Just like what we did with the invoice number, type the end sign followed by NAME and the equal sign, then type the customer's name. In this case, I put Juan de la Cruz. In order to do this, type Juan plus sign de la plus sign and then Cruz. The plus sign as mentioned earlier would put a space in between words. Press enter and you will see that the name will now be reflected on the generic biller. Now let's try to add an email address. Put the cursor at the end of the URL, the end sign, type EMAIL followed by the equal sign, and type the customer's email address. In order to put the at sign, use the code percentage 40. For one at gmail.com, you will need to type J U A N percentage four zero G M A I L dot C O M, then press enter, and you will see that the email will now be reflected on the generic biller. Now, we will try to add details on the amount and remarks fields. Again, just type the end sign, A-M-O-U-N-T, followed by the equal sign, then type the amount in digits. In this example, I put 500 to input 500. To add remarks, type the end sign, then type R-E-M-A-R-K-S, followed by the equal sign, then proceed to typing the details that you would like to put. Don't forget to use the plus sign to separate the words with spaces. You may now copy the URL of your edited generic biller and post it on your site or send it to your customers so they can proceed to clicking the pay button and continue with the payment process. It's that easy! For more inquiries and other concerns about your account, you may contact us through the email that we sent to you. Thank you!